Well, we wish we could cue the theme music from Jaws because a great white shark was just tagged off the coast of Halifax. The tag will provide important information on the shark's movements and behaviors, but th is this also a sign that more of these undersea predators are heading north? Joining me with more is researcher at Halifax's Bedford Institute of o Oceanography, Heather Bowlby. Heather, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. So talk to me about what you're hoping to accomplish by tagging this shark. Well, uh, as you mentioned, we're really trying to understand their habitat use and behavior off of um, the uh, Atlantic coast so that we can meet some goals uh, for this endangered predator uh, in terms of recovery. Now, you've mentioned that Canada has long been reliant on U.S. organizations to either provide or supplement data on local shark populations. So what will change now that we've tagged one uh, in home waters? What we've done is essentially um, shown that we can access these animals in Canadian waters, and at least with this tag going on, it will guarantee that at least a portion of its track is in Canada. Um, before, when individuals were tagged in the States, um, we were just hoping they might come to Canada so that we would get some information, and obviously not all of them did that. Heather, there's been some concern that shark populations are increasing in the northern Atlantic, although reliable statistics are hard to come by. Could this work potentially help us understand how many of these sharks are lingering in our waters? No, that is not a goal of this uh, particular study. Uh, well, sharks need to eat, and we know they hunt seals and other wildlife. If their numbers are rising, though, what, what kind of impact could more sharks have on Canada? Um, in a lot of ways, people look at it as sharks being the top of the food chain. Um, the other uh, animals sort of on lower trophic levels or below them have to be relatively healthy to support a large population of sharks. So most people consider large populations of sharks a good thing. Well, I've got to say, you know, more information is always better for the safety of, of people, but also for the safety and preservation of the sharks. So thanks for all your hard work, Heather. Thank you.